Hi, this is Mark speaking, and today I'm going to be reviewing the 17-inch Unibody MacBook Pro. That's the June 2009 model. So let's first take a look at the packaging. As you see, there it is. If I compare to the Airport Extreme and my iPhone, you can see that the size has decreased from the previous MacBooks and MacBook Pros. The height is 12 inches, the width is 17 inches, and the depth is 2.75 inches. So they did make a, a pretty dramatic difference in their packaging. All right, so taking a closer look at the packaging, you can see that we have an image of the front of the notebook closed. It says MacBook Pro 17 inch LED backlit widescreen notebook. On the other side, we have a picture of the MacBook Pro open. One of the sides we have the Apple logo, and on the other one we have three things. It says iLife, iPhoto, iMovie, GarageBand, iWeb. We have Advanced NVIDIA Graphics Processor, and then Precision Aluminum Unibody Enclosure. So let's go over some of the specifications. Size and weight. The height is 0.98 inches. The width is 15.47 inches. The depth is 10.51 inches and the weight is 6.6 .6 pounds which I think is heavier than the non-unibody uh, MacBook Pro model it's got built-in Airport Extreme Wi-Fi wireless built-in Bluetooth uh, built-in gigabit Ethernet it's got a 17 inch high resolution LED backlit glossy widescreen display which supports millions of colors the native resolution is 1920 by 1200. The MacBook Pro has two graphics cards. It's got the integrated NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256 megabytes of memory and it also has the discrete NVIDIA GeForce 9600M GT with 512 megabytes of memory. The next thing I want to talk about is startup and shutdown times. I'm going to be comparing this to my old MacBook I had a 2 GHz Intel Core 2 dual processor and 2 GB RAM. It was the way MacBook. Startup times is about the same with the MacBook Pro. Uh, they were both, uh, it really fluctuates 20 to 30 seconds. I just tested my Pro and it was 31 seconds. So not a difference at all with my old uh, notebook. Shutdown times, my MacBook was about 4 seconds to shut down and this Pro is 1 to 1.5 seconds, so it's a pretty good difference. Next thing I want to talk about is the screen. On my MacBook, I hated the screen. Um, I work a lot with graphics, and the colors just weren't vibrant enough. I always had to hook it up to my Apple 20-inch cinema display because colors just wouldn't show up right on my 13-inch uh, MacBook. Now on this 17-inch uh, MacBook Pro, it shows up really nicely. I mean, I was kind of afraid about the glossy screen, but uh, the colors are very vibrant. I love the resolution. So let's talk about the sides of the MacBook Pro, what we got there. On the left side, we have a MagSafe power port, a gigabit Ethernet port, one FireWire 800 port, three USB 2.0 ports, a mini display port, an audio line in and out, an express card slot, and the battery indicator. I don't care much for the express card slot. I would rather see an SD card slot and an extra USB port. I like the battery indicator that it's on the side. It made no sense at the bottom. On the right side, we have the lock slot and the super drive, which burns dual layer DVDs, DVDs, and CDs. All right, so the keyboard. Um, as you see, uh, Apple has decided to go with the uh, the MacBook keys. I like it better. Some people would argue otherwise. The trackpad is really nice. It is one button. It's got uh, the multi-touch gestures. It's made out of glass, so you can click with one finger or right-click with two fingers. Um, you can scroll up and down with two fingers. You can hide windows with uh, four fingers. You can increase the size of images or decrease them by pinching you can do multiple things for the unibody enclosure I think it's sleek and stylish I like it a lot 
I've had a couple of friends that think that the edges are a little bit too sharp, but if I run my finger across my MacBook Pro as hard as I can, you know, I don't cut myself. So I don't see that as a problem. On Apple's website, they claim that the 17-inch MacBook Pro's battery can last up to 8 hours. That is true if you have your energy saver preferences set to better battery life and if you're running small programs such as iCal, Safari, iChat, small programs like that. However, if you're using programs such as Photoshop, iMovie, iDVD, GarageBand, your battery will last four to six hours. Your battery will last you three to four hours if you're playing games such as World of Warcraft. My battery usually lasts about five to six hours, which is still pretty good. The last thing is performance. The 17-inch MacBook Pro is the fastest computer I have ever used. Here's something interesting. The last company that I worked for, I used a Windows computer. That computer had better specs than my MacBook Pro, and my MacBook Pro is still a lot faster than that computer. I give the 17-inch MacBook Pro 4.75 stars out of 5 stars. The reason for that is that I would like to see three things changed. Number one, the express card slot should be an SD card slot. Number two, the stock 17-inch MacBook Pro should come with a 7200 RPM hard drive. And number three is that since the mini display port is fairly new, all Macs that come with the mini display port should also come with a DVI adapter. The reason for that is because we all have external monitors that we like to use. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to rate this video. Thanks.